All right, so we're going to. I'm going to try to use the the system right here. Uh, so I see the screen up here. Uh, I'm in the main menu. Oh, and the battery is still going on. Yeah, web search. So I can just speak to it. There's a there's like a microphones everywhere. All right, let's go. And now I would like to search for a banana. And then you just walk around and, and you will be able to search for whatever you want in the street. Nobody knows that you're searching. And uh, right now it's showing me all the banana pictures. Okay, I'll, one like microphone. No, that's not what I want. Okay. But, uh, so it's, it's working. There's some buttons here also. And uh, I'm in the main menu. So I can phone a contact which is what I'm doing right now. Who do I want to call? I want to call my mom. Call my mom. No, it doesn't know my, it doesn't have my contacts. Lance Chambers. No, I don't want to call Lance Chambers. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be calling Lance Chambers. Send a message. I'm just looking up and it's working. Who do you want to send a message to? Let's send a message to Lance Chambers. Lance Chambers. Yeah, what do I want to say? I found the banana at the conference. Let's see if it's working. Because it would be awesome. I, I don't need to do anything. I'm just walking around in the, in the street and uh, it's, everything's working. And uh, this is uh, built in right here. The latest people coping. And here we have the crazy, crazy new uh, coping, coping crazy glass. What do you call this? Yeah, the pupil optics. The what? The pupil optics. The pupil optics. So it looks like just like normal glasses, and uh, like the size of normal glasses, but um, there is a micro display inside, right here in the corner. It's a micro display. So, does it actually, within this one, it runs Android? No, Android's not in this one. This is just a very basic microcontroller. The phone, it's paired to over Bluetooth, and the phone does all the work. The phone generates the images, it does the voice recognition, and the speech dictation. So you need to have the phone nearby? You do. You need to have the phone within Bluetooth range, but every day, on day to day, people just tend to be wearing their glasses. They've got their phone in their pocket with them at all times, so it's never really a problem. And uh, the battery is on the side to run the display? Yeah, so on this side is the battery, and on this side is all the circuitry required to run the system. So, um, so the voice, is there a microphone also in the glasses? Yeah, there are two microphones. There's one on the top of the display, one on the side. That's and awesome. And they to capture your voice, do the noise cancellation, and then work on the voice recognition. So this is the latest, uh, the latest work here at Copin is, is showing off. And uh, you work on the software side, right? Correct, correct. So the software on the phone. How many guys are you at the software uh, side? About 26, 27. 26, 27 guys? 27. Aren't here in the UK? In the UK. And so uh, this is, so what these are is, these are the vehicles that Copin have put together for, um, for their Copin, for their uh, uh, component technology. So they have two lines of business. The first one is, they license out reference systems like GoldenEye. Uh, the first one that uh, has put the, the, the license to that is uh, Verizon. And then the other model is they, these are these are vehicles which encompass all of the components that Copin want to uh, license out. So we've got optics, we've got um, noise cancellation technology, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, audio. So these effectively encompass all the components that Copin want to license out and help people get to market quicker. With so it's like reference designs. Uh, correct. Yeah. But with these reference designs. They all encompass the components that uh, that Copin want to effectively help people. So, you know, they they're all what what in short is they want to they want to help um, companies get to market quicker, and by doing that, they, they can. Yeah. Could you hold Could you hold up uh, Could you hold up these uh, this one and these uh, hold them up so I can try to focus. So this is like a micro display module right here. Is it on now? So there's a 
like kind of like a 480 resolution or something like that. Uh, the display is at low resolution. Uh, and uh, these. These are the different optic modules um, that, that, that they are. So that was the that's the the, the, yeah, hold, hold that's the pupil. Yeah. That's the pupil. That's the pupil. Okay. All right. And that's what you see in the glasses here. So that's in the in the blue set in the blue glasses. All right. Which are? So what's the latest uh, that Ecanus is doing? Ecanus, we've all created a. We've created an operating system for the, the reference systems for the pupil optic and that is here. So we've got things like language chat, uh, search the web, uh, send message, make a call. So effectively we've kind of give added a functionality as to what we've already done on GoldenEye. So you can you can have real-time chat between devices. Um, so it's kind of like a wearable OS. Kind correct, of yeah. So is it Linux-based? Uh, Android-based. Is Android-based inside the... Is it a microcontroller, right? The microcontroller's on that one, yeah. So there's a microcontroller on, the, on those on those vehicles, or those units, or those concept systems. Uh, all the power's done off the phone. On GoldenEye, the actual operating system's actually driven on the headset. So it's just an app on the Android? And uh, but oh. how about the software that's in the mi on the microcontroller? Is that something I Ecanos does? Yeah. So that, that was that was uh, what we'd done completely from scratch. Um, we had effectively created the whole system from from nothing. Really. But that's not uh, Linux based or. That, that, the best person to speak to for that will probably be Lee. Okay. So we'll wait for Lee to come back and Lee will explain the integral yeah. parts of all that. But we are we effectively created everything from scratch.